Hello there guys and welcome back to our ROD R8 car modeling tutorial here. Uh, in the previous episode we started to get quite a nice little mesh going at the front here and in this episode what we'll do is we'll maybe run around the back and start thinking about the, the geometry, run around maybe the rear bumper and then what we'll do is we'll kind of meet in the middle here. Um, in between episodes what I did was I made these lines a little bit thicker so hopefully you can see those a little bit better. I did look back at some of the older videos um, and the lines are a little bit skewed, hard to see, so um, I brought those back um, a little bit thicker just to make it a little bit easier. Um, so what we'll do is let's start with this rear portion. We already duplicated this from before. If you remember when we first started this, we dragged this over. Um, so the first thing we're going to do here is I'm going to hit modify and center pivot on this. Um, and then on my scale Z in my channel box editor here, I'm just going to change that to negative one on the Z axis, just so that our middle portion here is a little bit closer to um, what it should be in terms of our gradient, remember, from this side here. It should meet a little bit nice. It's not going to be perfect. We'll need to add a bit more geometry, but it'll be okay. Um, and then our rear here will work with just a little bit. So let's go in. Um, let's maybe pull this slightly into a slightly better position here. Something like something like that. Um, so we can see that we're already at the correct um, width and uh, thickness for this. Um, what we do need to do is we do need to shuffle about some of these vertices, uh, so we don't want them to be um, reflecting the original positions too much. So let's try and meet this in the middle here. We're going to bring that up, make that look a little bit nicer there. We'll grab these ones. We're going to start to form the kind of line, the body line here, um, where we kind of break in the panels. There we go. Um, let's maybe bring this one down to the bottom here and then this one can be for the side skirt. Now what we're really realistically going to be doing with these portions here is um, I'm already happy with what I've done at the front. I don't really know what inclination this is in terms of in the way because we can't really see it apart from our reference images. Um, so I'm kind of just going to extend the side skirt all the way out and then I'll make the arch meet that afterwards. Um, because, because we know that that's roughly in the right spot based on the, the top um, the top viewpoint and the side viewpoint. Let's run around this side now. This is going to allow us to then create the crease here for the bumper, the kind of the break there. And then we'll just use this one to help soften that the best we can. And then let's bring these ones out here. We're going to be able to use the back view, the rear view that we have inside here in order to, to fix these ones up. So we'll grab those, we'll maybe go there. And I think what we'll do is let's maybe stop at that point. I don't think we need any more geometry. The the, the kind of area where the exhaust is and onto the rear diffuser um, is a completely separate element. So um, what we'll do is we'll model that separately, just like we did with the front splitter, um, how we started the model off first and then and then we went through with the splitter on that. Um, so that, let's see, that's looking, that's looking okay. And let's go to our rear view. And we're just going to use this just to help us kind of make sure that we're looking good. But before we do that, let's actually go into our top view here because the the, the, the rear track on a car, um, is on a supercar, is generally a, a little bit wider, or it can be a lot wider than the front. So we'll bring that out there, which is looking okay. You can see that that's a bit better in line now. Um, and then using the vertex here, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to bring these in to match what we have in our rear view here. And then once we've got these in line, we're just going to want to make sure we've got a good balance in the perspective view that we've not got anything that's kind of going a little bit too crazy. Something like that. So we can see that that's flowing fairly nicely. Um, maybe at the front bit here. Let's just pull that in just to improve that too. Okay. So we've got that archway um, kind of set up nicely. So let's now think about moving our way around the rear. Now we've got to have a think about where we want the geometry to be. We can see that this section here, I'm looking at my reference images, and this section here is part of the vent. So the vent takes up a lot of the rear portion here, which is good. It makes it a little bit easier to model um, in theory. So we've got a large vent, so it means we've only really got to think about this lower portion of the bumper here. If I bring this in, we can see that um, around here where we've got that little bend, we actually have kind of an additional line. Now at first I thought that maybe that was just the lighting, but there's definitely like a little bit of a 
have a little move inside there. So we're going to want to put that into our base mesh as well. So let's grab all of these edges here. I'm going to hit Control E. And on the world, I'm just going to bring these in. And let's have a think about where these should go. So um, we'll maybe have that meet up with the start of the vent. This could be a nice kind of middle section to help maintain a little bit of a curve. You can drop that in here. Well, maybe we want this one to go there. This isn't really an actual defined line. It's just kind of curvature. But in the blueprint, it's kind of nice for it to see where we want an edge sitting there. And then for this one, we'll maybe bring down here. We want to extrude in for this. We want this to be its own specific bit because we do have quite um, quite an angle inside here, which we'll probably bevel uh, at some point. And then that kind of flows all the way down to the start of the diffuser. So we'll go for something like that. Um, we also want to think about the parking sensors at the front of this car. The parking sensors are inbuilt to the grill. So we don't need to worry about the body lines in there. But I think what we'll do is we'll probably get the parking sensors in this rear section. Um, so that's always quite a nice little addition to that. So let's go back into our rear view here. And we're going to want to start kind of plotting these lines. So let's move these in. Um, that's not looking too close for us right now. So maybe these blueprints are off a little bit. So. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to try and find a nice balance in between. We'll grab this one here. So we see that's lining up a little bit better, so that's not too bad. And we can see that we need a lot more curvature in here, so we'll maybe need to add another line or two at some point, but we'll not worry about that too much just yet. Oops, that's the wrong one. Let's grab this one. I wanted to stay at the same point outside of this, this vent here. That's quite an easy one to plot. So we can see that there's, these aren't lining up the best, which is a little bit frustrating, but um, it is what it is when it comes to 3D modeling. Um, so again, we'll try and find a nice balance between the two. So we've got that in there. That's not looking too bad. Um, let's have a think about this extra little bit down here then. So I'm going to grab edge here. I'm just going to go on this one. I'm going to extrude off and we'll pull that down. I am going to target weld this one back up here. Again, we'll add another line or two. Maybe what we'll do is we'll probably have another line flowing all around here, which is going to help us out eventually. Let's bring that in. We'll maybe bring that in so it's like vertical, vertically just down there. And then again, it's a bit awkward with our review here, but let's bring this back. And we'll have that straight. Now again, this isn't lining up very well at all. Maybe what we'll do is let's actually add in another line. So let's drop this right in the center here. So I'm going to go for my insert edge loop tool. I'm going to drop that down like so. I don't want this edge here though. So I'm going to hold control and hit delete on that to get rid of the um, vertices as well. And what we'll do is we're actually going to draw this around here instead. We want that to curve out, we want it to be nice and smooth. Let's go back to our rear view. Maybe what I want to do is maybe pull that in a little bit more. Let's maybe, let's actually add another one in here. So I'm going to grab the multi cut tool, and all I'm going to do is I'm just going to click once and then hit enter just so we can bring in another vertices here. And we'll maybe bring that in and drop that something like that. I think that's kind of the better option for us. Let's maybe bring this lower as well. So we'll go something like that. So let's maybe grab this and we'll bring this out the way here. So we're not going to have the smoothest. We don't. We don't. We're not going to follow that line, but we're, we're still going to be able to do it in some capacity because um, it looks like we're going to want to mess around with this a little bit anyway. So I'm going to hit Control E on these two. And I'm going to pull this to the start here of our parking sensor. I'm going to hit Control E again, and then we're going to pull this to the other side of the parking sensor. So we're thinking about putting in this parking sensor here. And this is going to be that portion that flows around for us. So let's get something like that in there. 
we don't want to be too close to these edges because we want the parking sensor in we do want it to not look so um, jaggedy around there so we'll bring both of those in um, let's bring these out a little bit it's a little bit awkward working with geometry in such a tight area um, bring that there Again, find a middle ground because we know that these aren't linking up too well. So we'll find a middle ground inside there. Let's grab this one here. We'll take that to the other side of that parking sensor. Same on that one too. And then we'll do something a little bit like that. See if we can see top view here. Okay, so we can actually see on this top view, we can see that extra little line bit that I was talking about before. So let's add that in just now. So what I'm going to use a multi cut tool. I'm going to drop one in. Again, we know it's a triangle. Um, we're not going to be too angry about that just now but we'll bring those in something like that and in our view here let's just grab this and let's just pull it down just a little bit on there just to kind of give us a little bit of differentiation so when we do bulk that line up it is going to allow us to um, add a bit of differentiation in there which should be fine I'm going to grab all of this I'm going to hit Control E and I'm going to go all the way to the middle here and then in my top view, I'm going to take it all the way over as well. Because we do want to have a good think about where the geometry is going to be. It's always important when you do things is don't do it just because. We always want to put something in place considering you know, what else is going to end up intersecting or what else is going to be um, required. Obviously, we need another parking sensor inside here and things, but we don't want to be... Um, We don't want to be adding in a lot of geometry for no reason, so let's do something like that. Okay, and then let's just jump in our review. We'll just make sure that that's looking okay, which it is, which is good. Okay, so let's add in a couple of edge loops. So what we'll do is let's add at least one in this corner here. We'll maybe add more when we come to think about the diffuser. And let's just pull that out like so. Okay, I'm going to add another one um, on the side of this parking sensor here. I'm actually going to go just a little bit further away, something like that. And then drop another one on the other side of it. So when we come to add the details to this mesh, we'll be able to, to think about that. Um, and I think that'll be okay for now. Let's jump in. I'm jumping in my rear view here and I'm just going to make sure everything is aligning nicely. I'm not even going to think, I don't think we'll think about the parking sensors too much just yet. I'll put those in another time. Uh, let's maybe get this one up a little bit. Okay, and then when it comes to this bit, let's just get that in a nice formed line as well. Okay, so that's looking quite nice. We've got that running around that rear section there, which is quite good. So let's maybe just do one last thing here. And let's grab all of these lines here. What I'm gonna do is let's just grab all these vertex first. I'm gonna grab the scale tool. I'm just gonna make sure they're nice in a nice line. And then let's extrude this down. Okay. So it looks like that little ridge is part of the diffuser, so that's not going to be an issue um, just yet. If we can 
select the vertex view. And again, I'm just going to try and get any waviness out of this. Make sure everything's nice and straight and nice and smooth. Because that's looking quite nice around there. Um, what we'll maybe do for this is we did add this extra portion in down here. So I'm going to grab all these. I'm just going to pull them out a little bit. Just for a bit of curvature in that area so it's not completely flat. We never want anything to be completely flat. So that's looking quite nice. We're quite happy with that. Um, we can see there that adding that curvature has made it match that bit a little bit nicer there. Um, it does look like maybe we're a little bit out on this rear section. I'll be okay. Okay, so that's looking quite nice. Um, let's think we could do the diffuser now. We could run over the top. Um, let's think about the diffuser. Let's do that. So we'll go into our back view again. So we need to have a think about the location for the exhaust. What I think it would be the best way to kind of go about this would be to make the exhaust um, area as a separate part. And then we can run along the bottom of the diffuser here. That could also be a separate part. Um, it does look like there is um, a body line down there, an actual break in the body line. So it does look like what we'll maybe do is we'll make this area here and then we can make those bits separately. Um, which might be quite nice, but also make it um, a little bit easier for us, which is good. So, okay, let's do, let's go for that. Um, so let's maybe build off of what we already have. So let's aim to at least get the kind of exhaust area done. So I think what we'll want to do is we're going to want to take all of these lower edges. Um, all the way around here. I'm going to hit Control E, and I'm just going to pull this vertically down to that first lip area. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab all of these and I'm going to say uh, Edit Mesh and Extract. So I'm just going to do this as a complete separate entity, but um, we want the geometry to kind of reflect the same so that it's nice and smooth transition between. Um, so let's grab that, that should be fine. So let's go, we're going to want to use our side view the most here. And I'm just trying to have a look at this in my references. Um, and what it looks like here is it looks like this main lip area at the front is going to be the kind of main focus. So let's get all of these ones and we'll pull them up. And this one here. Let's maybe go, let's maybe start to bring these out over here. Because it doesn't look like it kicks off quite nicely from the, the body. Should do something like that. And then over here, maybe somewhere over there. And then we're going to want this to be a bit the same. So we'll just bring that out, something like that. Okay. And let's now make sure that this is looking good in our rear view as well. So I'm going to pull all of these pieces over. Something like that. So I'll bring these down here just to kind of push up there. And then it looks like what we want for these ones is we actually want these ones to go something like that. That's looking quite it's looking quite nice inside there. Um, what we'll probably want to do is we're gonna want this to run down this side. So again, with our rear view here, we are going to obviously want to run 
down this bit here. So I'll get that, that edge. I'm going to hit Control E and we'll pull it down here. I think this is going to continue to run basically all the way down to this portion here. I want to keep the geometry uh, basic because just like we've built this object off of our rear bumper, what we're going to want to do is build the diffuser off of this little portion here. So we are going to add in some um, edge loops. So maybe we'll add one here right at the top of that diffuser point. And bring it around something like that. We are going to want to pull this in as well. And then this one here looks like it's going to want to curve quite significantly under. So what we'll do is let's maybe bring it to about here. Maybe bring it to there and then we'll worry about curving underneath after. No, let's actually, no, let's take it, let's take it. So we'll go for the edge. I'm going to grab this lower edge. I'm going to hit Control E and let's maybe go one around this bend here. Control E again, two, and then we'll go Control E one more time and we'll take that all the way under. So we've got a nice little bit of curve underneath there. And then what we're going to do with this in our rear view is let's just make sure that this is going to flow around here nicely. Something like that. So you can see that's gone and tucked underneath there, which should be fine. Um, let's maybe let's maybe add one more. I'm going to add one more edge loop just here, just to help us kind of take that corner a bit smoother. Because I think on the other side we do have three edges looking after the one corner. It might be nice to have the same over here. So do something like that. So in the main view here, it's looking quite nice. Let's go now and get the edges again. So we're going to take all of these edges here. I'm going to go all the way around. I'm going to include these lower ones. I'm going to hit Control E for this. I'm just going to pull in on the blue. Um, yeah, we'll pull in on the blue. And then what, let's just run around. We'll reposition each element one by one. So. All of these ones up here look quite nice already. So it looks something like that. Um, let's jump up in here. Okay. And again, we're just trying to find a best balance for all of these. So something like that. Okay. And then that runs along there nicely. And then this one just kind of lips off a little bit. Let's grab this one. Something like that. So we can see in the main view here, it's looking quite nice. Not the best in here, but it's looking okay. And then what we'll do is let's check the other side. So here's all fine. So we just want to make sure that this is traveling around that corner nicely. actually do with these um, let's double check my perspective we know how that should really look what we'll do is let I'm going to grab each of these and uh, let's go back to the rear view 
and I'll grab each of these. I'm going to hold down V on the keyboard. I'm going to snap it to that vertices, and then I'm just going to pull it in. Because we do want it to be pretty much straight. Let's maybe do that with this one too. Something like that. And we'll do the same with all of these. Let's just make sure we can see in here. And then we want these to kind of run around and form this little extra shape bit for us here. Like that. So that's looking nice again. I just want to make sure everything is looking good because sometimes it can get a little bit weird um, inside the orthographic view. So what we'll do is let's just make sure it's flowing nicely inside of our perspective view here. So that's looking a little bit nicer there. Um, we do want to go in. So I'm going to grab all of these again hit control E. I'm just going to scale these in. And again, it's going to be a little bit awkward uh, pushing and pulling inside here, but we're going to want to kind of meet this extra kind of inset rim here, which we can't really see too much. We can kind of maybe just see it's there. So we pull that up. We can see that we want to pull that right in. And what we want to do is just want to reflect that inside here. We just want that to be maintaining nicely and then we want to make sure that we're lining up inside here. Maybe that's down there like so. So that side's looking nice. And the other side is going to be a little bit harder. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab these here and I'm going to pull these in until they're roughly matching that same kind of trajectory as we have above. And that looks okay. And get those in position there. So that's looking good. This one here looks like What we want to do with this, let's just grab all of these. It's a little bit messy here, but hopefully it's easy enough to see. Um, we're going to get these ones here to flow with what we have maybe down here. Maybe we'll go halfway. We'll go something like that. And what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to grab the uh, multi cut tool and I'm going to take that up there and then delete that face because it does look like what we're going to want to do with this is we do want that um, that face to continue kind of running down. And then let's get these spaced out nicely along here. Okay, it looks like with this edge we're going to want this to um, really just to keep following down here. So we'll maybe go to about there. Um, let's go three times. And hit control E on that a couple of times. We'll go three times. And we'll make sure it's looking nice in here. As that starts to taper off. Okay. And then let's just nail this in our side view as well. Something like that. Okay. It's looking quite nice. Let's bring this one forward and these ones forward just to make all of that run up there a little bit smoother. Okay. And then these 
these ones here. Maybe we'll go in with those two. Something like that. And that should allow us here then to grab these edges. I'm gonna to go to edit mesh and I'm gonna bridge those together. Same with these ones. And then for this one, I'm gonna double click on all those edges. I'm gonna to go to mesh and fill hole. One last thing before we finish up is I'm just gonna grab these edge, um, edge slash transform here and I'm just going to smooth these out a little bit. Make sure we're looking a bit nicer and uniform on here. Something like that, a bit more curvature in. Okay, so I think that's looking good um, for now. Again, what our ultimate aim is, is just to lay out a, a, a nice overall base mesh and then we'll come back in and add the details afterwards. Um, so that's looking um, quite nice inside there. So what we'll do in the next episode is we'll maybe do the diffuser um, and then we'll start to work up towards the back and then we'll come across here. So if you liked the video, please um, hit that thumbs up. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down. Uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel uh, for future episodes and I will see you guys in the next one.